welcome to the Short Cut Cook. I'm Lisa, and I hope I'm your favorite cook because I make food fun, fast, and healthy. And today you're gonna to see how I really cook. I make things live for you, of course. And when I cook, I thought I'm gonna create something you need today. And I was almost gonna call it hot chick hummus, but I decided on chicken on the run because I'm gonna talk about jelly, deli chicken. Actually, I'd run too if I was a damn chicken. I'm confident, but anyway. I like chicken and a lot of people don't, so you can admit the chicken. But it is really a convenient, healthy food, antibiotic-free, steroid, you know, whatever. You can get them, you can buy them like that. So, the convenience of it is it's ready. Sandwiches, you know, tortillas, anything. And I usually buy the breast because I get more bang for my buck. And I use the white meat because it's easy and I'm gonna slice it up. Now remember, today I'm making this up, literally. I thought, what am I gonna do with the chicken? Besides make a sandwich, or I think you can put a little barbecue sauce on it and eat it and heat it up. But, okay, so I'm just gonna cut, cut about that many pieces. And what would that look like if I had to measure it? I'd say the weight probably, oh, maybe a, about a quarter of a pound. Does that look good? Okay, but you are gonna hear a little noise. Now I can sing to avoid the noise, but I don't think, I think you'll change the channel. Okay, so I'm gonna put the chicken in the mini chopper that will make noise. What else am I gonna add? The most important ingredient for hummus is the gabato beans. And you know, they're, it's a very bland bean. And as a little girl, I was, we call them chechi beans in the Italian family. And they're bland though, they, they really are. And they kind of need salt, anyway. Okay, I'm just gonna add, I'm gonna, I'm gonna add just about, you know how I measure. Okay, remember I told you I'm making this up live. So I would add about a, a little over a quarter of a cup drain the gabanzos. Okay, now I'm gonna salt the gabanzos because I want to. Now, what am I gonna do to spice it up because I talked about it being kind of spicy. I'm gonna add just about one pepper. Now that is the chili we the whole green chili you can cut it up yourself. It's that you actually get more for your money if you buy it whole. And make sure you remove the seeds and then cut it up. Okay, so that looks easy, right? All right. So now my hands are dirty again. I have a napkin in here. Look at this. I'm getting organized. Isn't this exciting? I can't believe it. Anyway, you don't believe it either. But okay, so we added that. Now how about some parsley just to give it a little bit of a punch? And I already have the salt. And then of course my minced garlic. Now, I'm gonna be tasting this like you do. I'm gonna add just about a half a teaspoon of the minced garlic, and a quarter cup of the gabanzos, and about a quarter pound of the chicken sliced, and then, let's see, what else do I need to add? And if you wanna really punch up the flavor, you can add a little bit of Tabasco. So if you want, if it depends on who's eating it, you know, you wouldn't obviously do that if it was children or something like that, but a lot of people don't like it, but I do. Okay, so you're gonna add to that. Now you're gonna say, are you gonna add oil to this? And I'm gonna say, eh, maybe. I may add a little oil. So this is my oil. Or is it vinegar? <laughs> vinegar. I don't think I have the right oil. Alright, this is just how I cook, like I told you. Okay. Greek olive oil. Now it should be Italian, I know. I always smell the oil because a lot of times oil can go rancid. Did you know that? It smells. You can just, it's a kind of a musty smell. And I just want you to add just about a teaspoon. I don't like it really oily. I don't, I, for me, hummus, I don't, just don't care for it. Okay, so let's see what we get now. Now I'm having trouble because it's not all blending. And if I needed a little more moisture, which I may, Remember, you're home cooking with me. So that will help mix it a little bit. And I don't even know what I'm going to put this in now that I'm after I make it. I know what I'll do with it. Okay, one more mix. One more mix. That's all it took, one more mix. Okay, so what I'm going to do... There, what was that? Okay, I don't know. <laughs> you never know. Okay, so what I thought would be a good option, once you make this, 
You can serve it with crackers. So I have crackers here. You can serve it with crackers. You can make a little appetizer, right? You can put it on bread. You can put it on a sandwich. You can put it on a salad that I already made. And so I just gave it a little Italian flair with the, you know, and Cabanza being like, you know what, the one thing though you need to do, you need to taste your food. If you don't like it, nobody else is going to like it either. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, and I'll try, I won't use double dip. Wow, that's really good. No, I'm not just saying that, it is really good. Okay, so you can add a little dab to the salad. Now, can you see that? It almost looks like tuna, huh? So if you want it a little more creamy, you're gonna add more oil to this, okay? And it does have a pungent flavor because of the garlic, but it is really good, and you don't have to necessarily have all that oil. I think it's healthier. Okay, now another option. Here we have an avocado. Do you know how to cut an avocado? You take it and you just press it. When you press it and hit it with the, the knife, it take, removes the seed and then just cut around the edges. Easy for me to say, huh? Okay, cut around the edges. It's coming, it's coming. I have the patience of an ant, I'll tell you that. I just want it now. Done, that's why I became a shortcut cook. I want to get out I'm in a hurry and I want it to taste good. Okay, so can you see this? So what I'm doing is I'm taking the avocado and I'm just slicing it. And you know, it, they usually need salt, so I'm going to add some salt. Where did I go? Where did I put it? Oh, okay. That does not look pretty, really. It doesn't. But I can spice it up. Guess what? I can spice it up with a little bit of uh, salsa. But this is not really salsa. It's called here. We go. I'm going to put that over the avocado. Doesn't that look good? So it's just chopped onion, tomato, and cilantro. And then we're going to add the hummus. Just like that. You like the way it looks so far? Can you see it? Okay. And then I'm going to just sprinkle it a little bit with the pinko de gallo, is what they call it. But and then you can have it, you know, as a little salad, a little lunch. I don't know, it's, it's hearty. Chicken is a hearty food. It's full of protein. The beans are very healthy for you. There's not much, the garlic's okay. I just don't, you know, die. I told you when I went to the, as a girl, I was raised Catholic and went to Catholic school. And, well, and when I went, that was my false teeth. No, when I went uh, to church, I really, I go in there with a lot of nuns there. And the nuns would come in and they, some of them sat behind you or in front of you or wherever you were sitting. And my goodness, the garlic, all the Italians, it was an Italian Catholic church, they all reeked of garlic. Oh, yeah, yeah, it was so pungent. And I don't really like to kiss Tony when he's been eating the garlic. It is just, I don't know, some people can tolerate it, some can't. I don't particularly like that smell. But I do eat a little. So, and even the mouthwash won't kill that smell. I don't know what it is. Okay, if you have any leftover avocado, you know, it's, I really just eat it. Just, remember how I told you how I cook? That's what I'll do. And then I'll just start it, recycle it. And then, what else can I tell you about the chicken? There was a joke I wanted to tell you. And that's it. So, oh, okay, so you can serve it with crackers. So that's an option too. There's still some left. Serve it with crackers. And all kinds of, you, you can put it in your eggs. Mix it with eggs. It'd be healthy for you in the morning. You know, you can admit the garlic if you have to, you know, be with people. You don't necessarily have to add the garlic. And remember the other choice you have, I didn't add it. In fact, after what I just tasted, I would not add this because I, it's a, I love it. But it's very spicy already because of the garlic. And, uh, and it, the flavors just meshed really well. So there you have it. So you have this uh, uh, chicken on the run. And you have two ways to repair it. You have your hummus on, on the avocado. You can have it with the crackers. You can have it in a salad. You can put, fix it with eggs. You can do it any way you want. Have it your way. It's your day. Okay, remember to like my page. I love cooking for you. I love having you in my kitchen. 
and so I'm grateful for all the uh, thanks and, and praise that you give me. I appreciate it.